Well, we just got off the ship here in Seward at the Dale Linsky Alaska Railroad Seward Intermodal. <laughs> and standing in line for the free shuttle takes us into town. She said it's only about a mile. But I figured we'd drive in and get the lay of the land and maybe walk home. They said it runs about every half an hour. We've been here about 20 minutes, so it should be getting close. Beautiful scenery. Saw a pot of uh, seals out swimming around the ship. Let's see if we can get a view of them again. This is the return voyage of our back-to-back -back Alaskan cruise on Radiance of the Seas. The first seven-night cruise was northbound. We're now on our southbound cruise. We leave Seward. Day two, we're in Hubbard Glacier. Uh, the weather hasn't been that great. Day three, we're in Juneau. Day four, we're in Skagway. Day five, Icy Strait Point. Day six, we're in Ketchikan. Last week, we went to Sitka. Day seven, at sea, we get to see some whales. Day eight, we're in Vancouver, but we take an excursion to the airport. Well, the free shuttle brought us over here to the Alaskan Sea Life Center, which is probably Little, about a mile from the cruise terminal and right at the end of the downtown area so we can stroll back. It looks like the Royal Caribbean tour buses have pulled up. I don't know what they're charging to get over here but for a couple dollar tip for the driver the free shuttle was the way to go. Okay Mike where are we at? Well we're at the Sea Green Wildlife <laughs> Center. Yeah in case you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's the windows to the sea? It's the window to the sea this happened. Okay. Well, good. We, we haven't been drinking yet either. The aquarium was fun, especially the seals, sea lions, and the diving ducks. Here's downtown Seward, Alaska. Ready? That's it. A couple little shops, a couple little bars, the, uh, the aquarium at the end. And that's pretty much Seward. It's a residential area. And the harbor, that's where we're headed back to right now. All right, back to the ship just before the rain. Feeling a little, a few little drops. Back to the ship, this guy was waiting for me, along with a back-to-back -back luncheon. Well, day two in the solarium. The morning of day two. And the captain shut the uh, outside areas. <laughs> 50 mile an hour winds coming across the uh, the ship. And there's the uh, storm after we left Seward. Kind of some rough weather last night. Uh, anyway, they've got the, uh, the bags out on the stairwells. A little bit of motion. But we're still headed towards the uh, glacier, Hubbard Glacier, that is, and we'll see if we can get in there. Well, our second trip to the uh, Hubbard Glacier, not as good as our first trip, that's for sure. It was a rainy, cold day. Uh, the captain couldn't get very far because of the uh, large chunks of ice, and it was foggy. That's all you can basically see back there is the fog, so I didn't even need to get out the good camera. But you really can't see a whole lot. This is much better. Out of the rain, I forgot Mark and Elisa had a balcony. <laughs> well covered. And the captain's turning just the opposite this time, so it worked perfect. It's great. So there it is. And it goes another three miles past that uh, peninsula there. That evening we listened to the guitar picker at the Quill and Compass. Uh, morning of day three, uh, pulling into Juneau. Uh, it's 
forecast calls for rain. I don't know. The plans were going to catch the city bus from the downtown terminal to the loop that goes near Mendenhall Glacier Visitor Center. Walk about a mile to the visitor center, see the glacier, walk back, uh, catch the bus and return to the downtown area and then um, find some fish and chips. But I don't know if it's going to rain. We may may have to reevaluate that plan. So we'll see how long we'll see how long we last. They uh, we're docked at the AJ docks or the AJ dock, and supposedly they have a free shuttle up here to take us into town because it's it's a little ways. The shuttle dropped us off at town center, and then we we walked around the harbor trying to find the um, statue of the whale. Uh, saw Patsy Ann again also. Okay, you're, you're, you're rowing? We're rowing, we're rowing. Uh, against the wind and rain, or? Against the wind and rain, we're like Vikings. <laughs> Valhalla or die. I can't believe we're doing this. Go. Uh, we're almost to the whale, though. And the last last two uh, total poles. Or actually, I think there's a couple more. Well, I guess these are the last two of the 13 totem poles that they have now. thought I saw something where they want to eventually have 30 or 33, something like that. But here's the whale fountain. That's pretty... What, what do we have here, Mike? We have a whale. Well, there's the transit center. That's where you would catch the uh, city bus that goes close to the uh, Mendenhall Glacier, about a mile away from it. For two dollars, gotta have the exact change. And then you'd walk back and catch it back again. So from there, here's the wharf, and there's the ship. Well, one o'clock and the rain's really coming down now. It's time to go back to the ship and find the steam room. I'm soaked. Uh, Mark and Elisa are still out there looking for a red dog uh, t-shirts or something and uh, Mike and Janet are hitting the shops but I'm headed back. Had about enough of the rain. Oh well, anyway, tomorrow we're, uh, where are we? I think we're in Skagway. Looks like rain again tomorrow. Well, day four. Back to Skagway. Uh, according to the weather, it's 45 degrees, but it sure doesn't feel like it with the, with that wind. You can see that orange sock out there just blowing straight out. The waves coming in. <clears throat> it's cold. We get to go on a train ride today, so hopefully we'll be uh, inside the train car because there's expected scattered showers. Uh, there's a, another view of the rock slide that's preventing some of the bigger ships from anchoring there. I noticed they have the ovation with us today but it's anchored at the back or moored at the at the back. So wish us well today it's gonna to be a little chilly ride I got a feeling. And my voice is a little thick from the last couple of days but <laughs> I think I'm gonna be okay. Uh, beautiful view. There we go. All right, on the train away. with our wood stuff. And it, you say it's working, right? It's working. Yeah. It's our train car. Let's try to get as far back as we could, but the the, the rear one is the uh, Epe first, Extra first, first class, class. The first class. And the unwashed get the uh, the rest. Yeah, there's about 10 or 12 cars. Should be fun. This narrow quarter mile corridor we're passing through is known as Rocky Point. Here, rail workers used over 200 tons of glass. In the beginning of the gold rush, the White Pass Railroad still didn't exist.
It is the largest horseshoe curve we will be making on our trip today. See, that's uh, yeah. that's had the lick. That's where the Mounties check the uh, the miners coming in to Canada. Right up here is the border. We love the railroad. If you're in Skagway, this is the excursion to take. Day five. Southbound trip. Uh, back at Icy Point. Uh, Icy Straight Point. That's uh, rainy. But we'll see. Well, we're going to get off and kind of walk around a little bit and def definitely go over to the cannery. And like, uh, I'm debating trying one of those... Uh, Bloody Marys with the the crab legs and crab meat and shrimp and <laughs> whatever else it had in it. Uh, on the lookout for some whales out here, but I haven't seen any. Just had breakfast out on the uh, the fantail here. At the, love these ships, the Radiance. See see how the day turns out. There's something swimming around in front of the ship there. We think it's seals. Every once in a while they'll break the water and I'm too far away to get them. <laughs> You'll never see them. Okay, there, there went one. There's a couple. So they got the fires going on a rainy day. Uh, I guess this is typical Alaskan weather. So we were fortunate last week. We had some great weather. And the people ahead of us the week before had fantastic weather. So it just going downhill ever since but oh well we're in Alaska you can do your sightseeing gondola your whale watching oh, these are all the last minute tours or you just ran across a guy who was going on a bear tour are you gonna go on a bear tour well we've been told about the local bears they're called the coastal bears, and they can grow to 13 to 14 feet tall, weighing 1,300 pounds. And they're bigger than a grizzly bear, but they're not so mean, we be told. So um, they just like to go to sleep, eat, and then go back to sleep again. So as long as we don't sort of upset them, we'll be all right. Well, it was a quick stop in uh, Icy Strait Point. Went to the cannery. Never did get one of the, their Bloody Marys. But learned a few things about canning salmon. Very interesting. Anyway, back to the ship. Meanwhile, back on the ship, we attended the top tier event. I like to call it just another reason to have some free alcohol. <laughs> All right. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to dismiss the band for one minute. He, well, the gentleman who sets the standard here on board, Radiance of the Seas. If you love everything about the ship. It's because of the example that he sets for the close to 900 officer, staff, and crew from friendliness and service. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the master here on board, Radiance of the Seas, Captain Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great, great to see you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's nice. It's great to see the crowd. The place is almost full, and thank you so much for being with us. My apologies for being late at the door, but we, we sailed a little late and then I had to stay on the bridge and I was rushing to, to be presentable and I, I just wonder if Aaron and Gian done here, which is the two, I can't blame the six year old, but them two are the reason I was late, so. Carol Ann was honored by the 
captain and crew for reaching another milestone. Pinnacle and a half. 1,050 cruise points. And I thought, I sailed a lot. This girl lives on the water. Hey, that evening we had the uh, 70s disco party. Who is, who is this Alaskan man over here? <laughs> well, just got off in Ketchikan, day six of the cruise, doing, doing the obligatory photos in front of the eagle here. There's our ship, we're in the middle one. It stopped raining, so hopefully, let's hope for the best. We're back on board by 5.30, and then a day at sea, and then we're, the cruise is over with. Let's see what we can get into here. Well, it's busy. All the little shops here, are, they're doing okay today with the three ships in port. There's people everywhere. <laughs> well, we're going to walk around the, the old downtown area and see what's up. We found Whale Park, and I was stunned at how beautiful the rhododendrons were. Well, here's the creek district. There's Dolly's... Um, uh, Evening, evening house. Some more beautiful rhododendrons. We then headed out in search of the uh, totem pole museum. All right. Give you a little size comparison. It's huge. Catch your can. Totem pole center. This is going to be more interesting than I thought. All right. Uh, the totem heritage museum. These guys are old. I don't know what the, that is on the top of that one. After visiting the Heritage Center, we headed back to the ship. Early the next morning, uh, sitting up in the Crown Lounge having a cappuccino, contemplating the day, <laughs> saw a pot of uh, orcas. You can just make them out, uh, of course. The good camera was down in the cabin away from me, but you can see them all blowing. There's about five, maybe six of them. And they'll jump up here in a minute. There goes one. Really enjoyed watching them. We were headed, uh, headed towards uh, Vancouver. The people went crazy. <laughs> After seeing the whales, we went back to the cabin and finished up the uh, egg drop competition device. That's, that's coming up here next. Uh, Mark and I stayed with the traditional design. We added a rubber duck for uh, ballast, or so we can get it away from the bar. Mike came up with an original design, and as you'll see, he pulled it off.
Okay, critique of Captain Merrick's performance this evening. Oh my Fantastic God. as always. One, only one on the high seas is our puppy Merrick. <laughs> I see Mr. Enrico got into it here. He was up dancing. We were, we were engaged. We, Very happy to see again a beautiful puppy singing from. They, Especially the, the Italians. <laughs> what a leader. I, he got his whole crew involved. That, that was fantastic. I, it was inspiring to see. It was. Yeah. Well, I think we found another duck. He found a cruising duck from the Tapo family from Bermuda. Very nice. I'll take that to dinner with me and see if anybody wants it or if they want to rehide it. I think I'll leave that one right there where it sits. On the morning of day eight, we're off the ship in Vancouver. We elected to take an excursion to drop us off at the airport since we had late flights flying out of Vancouver. We did the uh, sea to air, or sea to mountains, uh, gondolas, suspension bridge, and the Sharon Falls. It was all included in the tour prior to dropping us off at the airport. Well, so what'd you think of the suspension bridge? It's awfully wobbly. Awfully it's wobbly. Awfully wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty impressive. What falls are these? Shannon. Shannon Falls. Okay. Shannon Falls. And we're off. Oh, we certainly are. Well, I hope you enjoyed our uh, two weeks in Alaska. We had fun. Even though the weather wasn't the greatest coming home, it was still fun.